during the first half of the course we learned basic concept of the metamerism but in this lecture we will explore more into depth of this concept and ends with the understanding that how could designer use this concept and our interaction with metamorphic situation in daily life back in 2015 this photograph became an international phenomena known as the dress in 2015 a photograph of a dress became a viral internet sensation when viewers disagreed whether the dress pictured was colored blue and black or white and gold the hashtag flourished such as hashtag the dress hashtag the white and gold or hashtag black and blue although the color was confirmed as blue and black the image prompted tremendous discussion tens of millions of tweets a lot of posts on facebook and a large scale scientific study that was published in current biology 3 months after the image went viral the study which involved 1400 respondents found that 57% saw the dress as blue and black 30% saw it as white and gold 11% saw it was blue and brown and 10% could switch between any of the color combinations welcome to the fascinating world of metamorphism metamorphism is the term used to describe the fact that two lights with different proportions of energy at certain wavelength may produce the same perception of color this is also known as illuminant metamorphism or that the same light may produce different perception of color in different observer and that is known as observer metamorphism 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 is a problem that must be recognized and accounted for in industrial color matching on the other hand metamorphism is very useful property of human vision and is responsible for the success of color imaging systems like photography television printing etc these imaging system are able to produce convincing representation of real world scenes all possible energy distribution with just three primary colors you should remember that there is a standard method for visual evaluation of metamorphism which is ASTM D4086 which is defined by American Society of Testing and Materials the term geometric metamorphism is sometimes used to describe the visual effect of the specimens whose color change with the direction of illumination or viewing velvet fabrics and pearl scent or a metallic paint are just two examples of such materials now we know that metamorphism occurs when two colored objects appear to match under one light condition and do not match when viewed under a different lighting condition there are four types of metamorphism number 1 observer metamorphism this occurs when a pair of color match for one observer but not for a second observer second is illuminant metamorphism when two colors match under one light source but not under a different light source third one is geometric metamorphism when a pair of sample usually textured match under one illuminant and viewing angle but no longer match when the angle of illumination or viewing angle changes and fourth one is device metamorphism also known as a sensor metamorphism it is a result of different light senses across different camera models and this commonly happens when you take picture with your mobile phone camera and compare the same picture taken by your peers camera sometimes they show different colors of same object in the picture in a study from the optical society of america which analyzed the frequency of metamorphism in consumer cameras experiments showed 
that about 18 to 20 percent of the pixels of 423 spectral images of indoor scenes in five illumination conditions are metameric in the sense of angular differences. It was also observed that one to four percent of the color that would have appeared similar to human eyes are reproduced as a different colors in the cameras. What do these statistics mean? A moderate percentage of image color may appear differently depending upon the viewing angle of a particular image. A small percentage of image colors will appear to match to the human eye. However, a camera sensor can pick up those color as a different from one and other. Now looking at metameric match versus spectral color match. <clears throat> Normally in paint industry, color matches are often a spectral color match to avoid a metameric color match that disappoints the customer when they apply the paint at home under different lighting conditions. A spectral color match is an attempt to formulate two colors with the same reflectance characteristics. Whereas a least metameric match reduces the sensitivity of the color match to change in illuminate or differences between observers. A spectral match is a non-metameric match, meaning that two objects with the same spectral reflectance curve will appear to be same color under any light source. In order to promote color continuity in color critical industries, it is best to use methods that provide consistent lighting scenarios with the fewest variables, such as sourcing materials from a single and consistent supplier. One should use the same source of fabrics, pigment, dyes, papers, etc. A trusted supplier of material will not only ensure consistent quality of the materials, but will also help to minimize the variation in the final products. Second is using the same observer or camera settings and scenes. Consistency of all elements will deliver optical color matching, viewing sample against a neutral background. It should be a standard to use a gray neutral background and this neutral gray neutral paint or a background will help eliminate simultaneous color contrast which we already have studied and minimize the color pollution mean effect of the other colors around in the same environment <clears throat> these occur when a standard luminant is reflected off a colored wall. Neutral gray paint have a flat spectral response without any color bias. A neutral gray, gray is not simply a black white mix, but an equal mixture of all spectrum colors. Use of a standard luminant with a regular age monitoring should also be considered. It's mean that the illuminant you are using for viewing your samples, their life should be considered. There is always a standard life of the illuminant that for how long that illuminant will uh, emit a standard wavelength. And after a certain period of time, the wavelength will change. It means that it's going to affect the color observation as well. Metamerism in textiles is a feature where the color difference between the dyed material and the standard changes when the two are viewed side by side under change of light source, commonly termed as illuminate. Typically, the dyer will be required to ensure a satisfactory match to the standard under some specified illuminates. Normally, these illuminates are customer satisfied 
customer specified kind of a light to be used in the retail store an artificial daylight or tungsten filament light unless the standard and the dyed material are of the same fiber composition and physical construction and dyed with the same combination of dye stuff in the same proportions their reflectance curve will be different therefore although a good match may be possible under one luminant there is likely to be a metamorphism when the shade is viewed under other luminant along with the experienced based color matching technicians in modern textile industry instrumental match prediction systems are being used to select the dye recipe by analysis of the reflectance reflectance curves this can also give information on the degree of metamorphism between the standard and each proposed dye combination if the dyer does not have access to an instrumental system and uses a visual prediction procedure a visual assessment of metamorphism must be made by checking the laboratory dyeing against the physical standard under the specified illuminates as we know metamorphism is a phenomenon where two objects with different reflection or transmission spectra appears to possess the same color under a specific light source putting side by side the two such elements therefore allow for the creation of a hidden image effect for example in 1985 on holland's banknotes supported a metamorphic feature based on a green metamorphic inks under normal lighting the feature was fairly uniform in color but when observed through a red filter a rabbit would appear this effect was possible since the ink had almost identical spectra in the green wavelength region whereas they differed in the red hence the use of red filter highlighted these differences in 1999 a romanian scientist went one step further by incorporating a magenta filter onto the banknote itself hence resulting in a self authenticated authenticating banknote in the previous example the metamorphic devices were based on classical or no shimmering inks however there have also been some example of interference based metamorphic features to our knowledge the first metamorphic feature to be proposed was in 1973 that consisted of two filters with identical colors which when superposed would transmit no light perhaps due to its relative complexity and potential cost this feature was never implemented but nonetheless it proposed an innovative concept this clearly indicates that designers can use this metamorphism phenomena as a feature to make their designs functional color changing shirts not the photochromic one or the walls that change color under new lights and colors in painting that do not match what you see in the room are all examples of metamorphism metamorphism is when two colors that are not actually the same this means that they reflect different wavelength of light which appears the same under certain lighting conditions colors that match under some light but not other are called as metamers these subjective color matches are most common in near neutral or dark colors and are problematic when it comes to purchasing clothing or painting a room but how does metamorphism work is it measured and how can you avoid mismatched set of clothes when buying in store what causes the color change we have already already learned this concept that people see colors when element of eye are stimulated by certain 
wavelengths of light. These wavelengths are reflected by the pigmentation of the objects. When light hits an object, certain wavelength responsible for certain color are absorbed while other are reflected. The reflected wavelengths are what we see and understand as a color. This entire process is based on three different things. Reflectivity of a substance, which wavelength bounces back. Light source, which wavelengths are output by the source to begin with. And which colors can be perceived by your eyes. For example, a light source inside a shopping store emits only blue and red wavelength. And natural light outside emits red, blue and green wavelengths. How would this affect what a green shirt looks like? Actually, with the blue and red emittance, the shopping store light would look purple. So this is an exaggerated example just to understand the concept. So in the store, the shirt absorb blue and red wavelengths and no light is reflected. So the shirt appears black. When you take the same shirt to the outside, it is exposed to all three wavelengths. Red and blue are absorbed under the neutral light, under the natural light, but the additional green wavelength is reflected and picked up by your sight. So outside the shirt appears to be green. In the previous lectures, we have already learned about the color rendering index. Now we are going to talk about metamerism index. The basic difference between the color rendering index CRI and the metamerism index MI is perspective. CRI is a comparative evaluation of how well a light source renders a set color compared to a reference light source. This is done using a limited set of exact colors, meaning some metamers are easily overlooked. Metameric index, metamerism index uses an appearance model approach. When the rating is based on the perception of human color vision and how well that is portrayed to the wavelength properties of the object. While CRI is effective at showing which bulbs are better than the other at rendering colors. Those colors will not necessarily be as accurate as they should be. Since CRI does not take into account the difference in reflection of certain dyes or the stimulus range of human, human color vision, the metamerism index is more of an industrial standard. So it appears on pigmentation and illuminated object rather than the light source itself. Metamerism index is not tested on the lamps we buy. We walk through a mix of glowing compact fluorescent lights and LED lights on a daily basis, not to mention the natural light. So what can we do to ensure that we get the colors we are looking for. The simplest method is to treat any color sensitive purchases the same way you treat the paint matching for your rooms or for your automobiles or while dying. Take a color swatch or a fabric sample with you into the store, then compare both the retail item and the swatch together being sure to keep both at roughly 30 degree angle to the source light. Compare the item and the color sample swatch or piece of fabric in the light of a cool white fluorescent. Avoid spotlights, neon signs and windows when making a comparison. Different dyes and dyeing processes can leave a product with characteristics of metamerism. The most likely color to suffer from metameric characteristics are mauve, lilac, taupe, tan, 
and gray blues these are the color you definitely want to compare before purchasing as they are likely to look different under other light sources and as a quick reminder the metamerism metamerism index is how color looks to the human eye while the color rendering index cri is a relative measure of a how light source renders set colors if you have any other questions please write this in the google classroom now summarizing the concept metamerism is a special phenomenon of perceiving colors that happens when at least two colored samples called metameric pair appear identical under a certain light source whilst they may result totally different if placed under another light source this chromatic difference originates from our brain processing about visual stimuli that occurs when the colors are obtained from a mixture of a similar pigments these tints are characterized by a different spectral composition that sometime cannot be seen because of a limited perception of the human eye our eye can perceive just some specific wavelengths while other will result totally invisible to the naked eye the electromagnetic spectrum is characterized by only three visible areas which our photoreceptors are more or less sensitive to any pigment absorb and reflects specific wavelengths just when the remaining reflected light strikes the eye we will perceive a certain color than others depending on the energy the light uses to strike an object measured in lumens per second the percentage of reflected light within the visible spectrum can be established by its reflectance curve this concept is fundamental because it exactly explain what happens with the metamorphic pair colors composed of common pigments may be characterized by reflectance curve that referring to some wavelengths intersect themselves giving life to tint that will appear identical to the human eye especially if they hit the areas with the photoreceptors less sensitive to the light in these conditions we can assert that these colors are partially identical type and identity of the light source are then the first factor behind the metamerism <clears throat> yet only the only one the sensitivity to colors by the viewer that changes from an individual to other and the observation angle influence even more the chromatic perception when the color variation depends on the observation angle of the object we are talking about geometric metamorphic failure for example in textile industry this chromatic variation effect is usually wanted through the creation of specific texture able to reflect the light in different ways depending upon the angle they will be hit with in many other industries the problem concerning metamorphism is likely to occur in different steps of production and it is not always considered as an added value therefore over the years many tools both hardware and software were bought in order to control and limit as far as possible that this phenomena might occur then there are specific laws as well that as well that regulate it in certain contexts norms that have established special tolerance in tolerances in order to control and accept this chromatic difference during the creation and introduction of your chromatic proposals you have to consider these important elements number 1 color temperature of the light source a parameter that establish the hue referring to the light number 2 possible object of large dimension or internal colored wall that may influence the light composition number 3 perceiving differences between people that may occur depending on a more or less sensibility of the photoreceptors within the human eye in order to avoid any possible claim due to metamerism by your clients 
you need at least to establish specific light conditions where to observe the product. A provisory remedy rather than a real solution of the problem. A more efficient solution is to use during the production process, professional viewing and color control methods and tools that allow to check the quality of colored surfaces and materials. Viewers, lighting installations and highly sophisticated spectrophotometers in accordance with different standards as defined by ISO or ASTM designed for color quality management. System that are realized referring to the parameters and controlled light conditions based on different industry standards that allow the chromatic reproducibility and the color matching of a wide range of materials, thus avoiding mistakes as far as possible and properly managing the chromatic variation that may arise due to the different light sources.